Good morning. It's uh, Friday, the 18th of April, 19, uh, 2008, and um, I'm on the braes doing a very nice, easy final run, really, before the fling, which is just eight days away. Been going about um, two miles, just over 20 minutes, and my aim today is just to do about 12 miles. Very easy. Try and run it around the pace that I want to start the race at the fling on and just take it nice and easy. Also, one of my aims today is to have a bit of a uh, dress rehearsal in what I'm wearing. I weighed myself before I set off in my birthday suit and I was 12 stone, four and a half. Don't worry, no photo of that. And then put all my gear on and I was 12, nine and a half. So everything I'm gonna run in, or at least start with next uh, Saturday, weighs about five pounds so that's about right even though I've got a, a, wa a water in my bag and a little pot of beans I'm going to try those today what they're like on the run and uh, but I won't be carrying those to start with next week I've got my mobile phone on my arm which is quite an easy way of carrying it and get it out if I need to I've got my camera which doesn't weigh too much I've got my GPS watch which I've decided I'm going to run with on for the decided to try it and if I get fed up with it I'll just uh, discard it on the way well at the checkpoint but um, I thought it'd be interesting to see what it's like to actually run a race with it and see how that goes so my dress rehearsal start with my feet I'm wearing my Innovate rock lights and uh, I've got two pairs of socks on got loads of pseudocreme around my toes that was a tip I watched Hugh Care do last year and it seems to work quite well and then a very thin pair of um, ankle socks and then a thicker pair on top and my feet feel nice and comfy and the aim is both in the fling and the full race just to run uh, in the same pair of shoes and socks all the way uh, I don't like to have to stop to change shoes and socks Right, that's me, been going uh, about 38 minutes now three and three quarter miles and uh, a little bit of a hill just before the Paisley Golf Club so I thought I'd uh, do a bit more because it's a bit sheltered here. Pretty cold, put my uh, put my buff on because my ears were getting really cold. Dario, if you watch this, I'm really sorry but uh, I cut off the peak because I just didn't like it at all. Thing about the fling, uh, this will be my third ultra race. Last year I did the fling and then the full race, the West Island Way race, so this will be my third attempt at an ultra and um, I really love to uh, beat my personal best from last year PB I was 10 hours 36 and uh, felt as though I ran well uh, I'd love to get somewhere around about 10 15 that would be my goal that was based on sort of trying to take 45 minutes off my full time so uh, 20 minutes off this one and that'll give about, around about 10, 15. Um, it all depends a lot really uh, on how you take this. In a sense, the, um, uh, the fling, is it a, just another training run or is it a race in its own right? And I, I think for me, I take it as a bit of both really. As a training run, uh, since January, we've run January, February, 30 mile runs. We did a 42, 43 mile run, and then this one's adding another uh, 10 minutes, uh, 10 miles onto our longest run, just over the style there. And um, so it's each month we try and add 10 miles onto the, the distance, so that's good. But it's a race in its own right, and uh, I really enjoyed it last year, it gave me a lot of confidence. Last year I felt as though I was still. I'd never actually done an ultra, I could have called myself an ultra runner but once I'd run that one last year I felt as though I belonged somehow and I'd, uh, I'd finished an ultra race so this year it's still a bit of a mixture I treat it as a, a really good uh, training run and the, ne the next in the building block for the summer this is my uh, lunch just had a pot of cold baked beans and uh, to be honest, they were really nice. Enjoyed that, so I'm gonna try, gonna take those. 
they were tasty and uh, plenty of tomato sauce in there so they went down quite easily and uh, they're supposed to be a good source of food baked beans so uh, I'm gonna add those to my list and try those on the fling next week right better get running again so I had a little walk there to eat my beans and it's starting to level off a bit now Right, that's me. I've just been going just over six miles, just on uh, just over an hour. Again, just feeling really good. Oh. So tactics for the fling. I reckon to try and get under uh, 10 hours 15. Where can I take 20 minutes off from last year? I reckon the place that I need to take it off is from Ben Glass to the end. Last year I. Uh, got to Ben Glass ahead of my schedule. I was aiming for 11 hour schedule last year. Going well. But from there onwards I started to just struggle a bit. My quads were getting sore and uh, after Der between Derry Derrick and Crean Larrick I fell twice. The first was on grass, that was okay. But the second one was on that long path when you go up towards the forest above Crean Larrick. Quite stony and I fell quite badly and it shook me a bit and my legs got a bit wobbly after that and uh, my quads got really sore. So I reckon I lost a good 5, 10, 15 minutes maybe during that, that bit. So I reckon that's where I can take the time off. So this year what I need to do I reckon is to get to Benglass in similar time to last year but feeling better. Now that's easier said than done. But I reckon the way to do that is just to make sure I run nice and comfortable all the way to Balmaha and then all the way up to uh, Benglass. Don't push it too hard. And the key thing will be is not to get involved in a race. People like Ian and Davey, if I sort of start trying to race them too early, I know what I'm like and I'll start pushing it too hard. So I need to try and run my own race and run nice and steady. The other thing I'm going to work on is my stops. I'm going to have two minutes at uh, Drimmen, two minutes at Balmaha. Five minutes at uh, Roadenen, two minutes at Inversnaid, and then five minutes at Benglas, and then right through. So again, that'll be about 16 minutes of stops, and uh, we'll see if I can keep to that. Um, and the other thing I'm going to work on with my team, uh, Katrina, and three of our girls are going to come for to help with support. I'm going to meet them more often, as well as the normal stops. We're going to meet at Beech Tree. And then between Ben Glass and the end, at least two more times, which means I won't need to carry as much um, water. Last year I carried two bottles the whole time and kept refilling them, which was daft. I don't need that much, so I'm going to try and carry a lot less and see if that helps as well. So there's they're my they're my tactics. I you know I think to beat 10:15 I will really have to. Uh, keep moving, keep a nice steady, don't go off too early, try and leave enough for the last uh, 11 or 12 miles from Benglass and see if I can run nice and solid all the way. Um, I'm certainly looking forward to it. Well, it's me been running 1 hour 45, just over 10 miles, just less than 2 miles to go to the house. And uh, it's been a, a really good run, nice and nice and easy. Um, enjoyed doing these little video clips along the way to keep the interest going.